Hi everyone, this is Terry. One of the questions that I got yesterday when I posted this table runner idea was can you create designs inside these kind of clamshell shapes and possibly rotate them or flip them? Well, one thing you need to think about, when, and we'll just delete what I have on the screen right here because you can see that I have one of those shapes. So I'll go ahead and, and delete what's selected. And I'll go into the, first of all, we need to select all of the design and we'll go into the background fill. And now what I want to do is I want to try to select a shape. And I'll just choose one of them for right now. And I'll choose next. When you go into next here, you notice you can select a fill pattern but you don't have any option in order to take that pattern and rotate it or anything else and let me just find a shape that I think is something that would really be noticeable in terms of whether it was flipped or not so we'll choose this shape and you can see that that looks good in, in this position. Let's choose OK. But the question was asked if you want to take that and place it in this other position. Let's try duplicating it. And so what I'll do is I'll right click and I'll duplicate it. And now that that's duplicated, let me move this down here. And then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll go to rotate and flip. And we want to flip this vertically. So we'll flip it vertically. And now you can manually move this into place. And you can see this is what you could do. If you tried to do it all at once, I did not get the same results because of the, the shape. So this would be probably the way that I would approach it. Might not be the perfect way, but it's one way. Now, another question that I was asked is if you go into shape and you go to your decorative fill stitches, can you change it? Well, let's look at the sewing attributes on it. On the sewing attributes, you can change your run pitch. You can change the size of those decorative stitches. And then you can also change what's called a random shift. Let's say that I want to recolor all of these roses to a different color. So I'll find those patterns in my sewing order. And I can see them right here. I can select them by holding down the left mouse button and then choose the selection and now that I have those selected and you can see that we have the little uh, dotted line blue box which is telling me that's a shape I can change the color so let's change the color of that to a light purple and now if I want to change the other uh, uh, patterns and um, we'll do that and select them. I can change them to another color as well. We'll change them to a green. So here are some ideas of some of the things that you can do. You can also change this border. I, ch I just chose to make this a candle wicking stitch. If I wanted to change it to a chain stitch and to a different color, I can do that. And We'll make that a red. So this gives you some ideas of some of the things that you can do. But keep in mind that as you're selecting these areas, these areas are shapes. Now, nothing is going to prevent you from creating a shape that's like a half moon shape and putting it inside this and filling it again. That's all, always a possibility that you can you can do. You, you, you basically are working within the spaces that are created. I hope this is helpful to you. If you have any questions, please post them on YouTube 
or you can reach me at PE Design 11 on Facebook, or you can join my group if you own a Luminaire, and that's just stitching, I-N, not I-N-G, with the Brother Luminaire. Thanks, and have a great day.